oh, you're not going to talk about that now. Oh, we can do. Let's do it. Well, <laughs> so I thought, I don't know. I thought that was fake. No. I thought you guys were having real. a go. Why did you, but then why did you put on social media, you crazy man? Just because it was so hilariously funny. It, was, it all worked out to be fine in the end. But we got so many messages being like, yeah, this is fake. Like you set it up. It's like, no, it was 100% real. This is at 3 a.m. walking back from the club in Mexico. <laughs> and what are you allowed to diverge? Oh, we can dive into all of it. But we went, we did the <laughs> okay. call. Because so we're doing a street race section with jackson and brendan for death grip 2 so we're all in mexico this is where like ollie wilkins christian and the other boys will build the course too so all the the brits abroad all out there i've actually never been to mexico before till then and it was really cool really cool country and where we were was really nice too and this cool little colorful town and shoot went well race went well went to the after party and Bren and I left to walk back to the hotel at two, three. And Bren is, he's like just walking down. And bear in mind, there's an alleyway. He's like, I'm going to go for a piss and walk down and do a piss. I'm like, cool, whatever. And next thing I know, he comes round the corner with, because the police in Mexico are quite scary. In the UK, it's like, here's a baton. Like, what are you going to do? And, you know, no one like obviously taken seriously, but not that seriously. But in Mexico, it's, People with bandanas here, full assault rifles, and friends getting walked out from one of these guys. And it's like, whoa, what's going on here? But you kind of got a sense they were fairly chill to start with. Then they put them in the back of a this pickup truck, police pickup truck. But it's kind of like the Pope mobile where you get paraded because you obviously sat on the pickup, like hand, he's handcuffed as well. <laughs> so you sat in the pickup being paraded around town at 2, 3 a.m. And I didn't know where he was taking him. I didn't speak, obviously, yeah, I didn't speak any Spanish. So I was running behind the truck as fast, like, as fast as I could. And it was an annoying pace because, you know, something's not going, you know, something's not going that fast in the scheme of things. But it's, like, enough to, like, need a bit of a substantial jog. But it's realistic that I can still catch it. So I'm just running after this truck for a mile to see bread in the back. That's when I also filmed it, and I was so drunk. You always tell Brent's pretty worried. He's handcuffed in a truck going to the police station in Mexico. And we're thinking, what's up? And at this point, I'd only realised what's up as well. They caught him pissing on the street, which, you know, I thought there might be bigger crimes in Mexico. <laughs> and it obviously is a lovely, is a lovely city, but there's like stray dogs running around like here and there some open sewers here you know it doesn't smell the best anyway i was like i'm surprised this is such an offense that you need to get paraded around town and handcuffed but ran all the way back to the police station with him and even tried to help hold on to the truck at one point and the the guy just peeling off my fingers like that <laughs> and just, just head <laughs> off again <laughs> like we're obviously fairly drunk here and i'm running along and then bren gets into the police station and he luckily at dinner would overpaid for whatever reason they'd overcharged us so they gave us i think it was 500 pesos back in change and the police station only does cash <laughs> which let's you know a bit questionable but you kind of expected certain countries and then their friends are bartering with the police or like whoever's in the police station of how much to pay him Initially, it was 600 pesos. Then he only says he only got 500. This goes on for 20 minutes. I'm not even there. I'm just outside waiting. No clue. And then they give him 100 pesos back again. And they're like, cool, thank you. And just let him out of the police station. <laughs> so that was his, you know, kind of our excursion in the Mexican police station. It's but... full on probably from a bribe, right? I mean, I'm not saying yeah, then... he should have done what he did, as we both said. We're not condoning it. However, no, it seems uh, like they've yeah. made a cheeky example of him because he's uh, not, you know, he's foreign. Yeah, but you would say that as well. But then, I kid you not, the race winner, I've forgotten his name, shows up on the back of police truck as well. I don't know what he'd done, to be fair. But I was like, 
what is going on? The, like <laughs> South American race winner just showed up in the police station. So yeah, that was Bren's quick excursion. You know, I didn't uh, go to jail, so obviously, but he. That's just... why. That's why he said no. There's nothing to talk about on any of the shoots. They're all been pretty boring and regimented. And that, like, you forgot be it. the part where you got arrested. Yeah. Okay, well, he deserves that then if he didn't bring it up and you did. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, luckily, there was no no big crimes. I think even the in South Africa, I don't think anyone would care. Or in the UK, they might tell you to stop doing no, that. No, um, I've had a friend that also got escorted after doing that, <laughs> and I'm not condoning it again. He had no? too many adult uh, Kool-Aids, and he needed, yeah. needed to relieve himself, and he picked the wrong corner in front of the wrong person. That's it. And Brendan, even we went down because we were in the main square and he went down his alleyway, which was pretty remote. I was like, fair enough. Like, if he's weighing you in the main square, you know, but the police truck just happened to conveniently drive past at the exact same moment he was stood there. And I think when you're mid piss as well, you can't, what are you going to do? You're not going <laughs> to, like, <laughs> hands up. <laughs> hands up. So you're kind of going to chat to them first, and then for, you know, straight away legging it but he chatted to him thinking obviously it'd be fine and then next thing he knows he's in a police truck getting paraded through town 